Hey, this is Gallagher. This Junkyard Review is going to be on Dodge Grand Caravans and Chrysler Town & Countries. Wait! I know they're terribly boring. Just stick around. I'm going to make it quick. I don't want to spend too much time on these turds. Neither do you. I get that. All of them had, at least to my understanding, either 3.3 or 3.8 liter V6. This one might even be the 3.8. Let's see. Let's see here. I am not seeing it. Hmm. No, another 3.3. Well, either way, um, they, uh, as such, all had common issues. Drum brakes, brakes in the rear, as you can see. Boring, basic interior. At least they have the power window controls on the doors like they should be, but like a lot of Dodges didn't do, or Chrysler products. Standard Chrysler radio that they used for a thousand and five years. Boring gauge cluster, white, dark colors. You gotta read it. You can read it. Done. Interesting. It's got a couple different little dealy bobs there you can do, as well as a nice sunglass holder. As well as, check it out, sun visor extenders, although those are the lamest ones I've ever seen. They do not go out that far. So this little drawer here, you think, oh, that's a glove box, obviously. No, it isn't. That actually goes underneath this seat right here. This is where that thing goes. Yeah, these are just, eh, they did the job. They were a minivan. That's what these things were, and they did the job. That's why they were so popular. They were not that expensive, and they served their purpose well. Although this one, check out that wood uh, trim right there. Let's go look at this thing. This is the Dodge Grand Caravan between the two. Plymouth, before they went out of business, also had a version of these things because, you know, all the U.S., or rather, the majority of automakers love to rebrand and rebadge their vehicles and sell them again. Four engage cluster again, but this one at least is in the standard black. I kind of prefer that as opposed to the white gauges. Interesting center console. Nice little fake wood covering. Still have the standard of the time, though. That's a little bit of an older version of the Dodge Radio or Chrysler Radio, but they were standard. Of course, Ford and Chevy did the same thing. Yep, boring, basic. So these two little things here, later model town and countries and grand caravans, this window here on the back doors rolled down. On these guys, they did not do that. These two little things here were power actuators for these rear vent windows. Let me show you amidst all of this, wow, just plethora of junk. Somebody had like a bucket of crap that they just emptied here. Interesting. Anyway, these guys here have a little electric motor that spins them and opens them. And that goes for both sides. Seems like those break a lot, broke a lot. But either way, that's Dodge Grand Caravan, Chrysler Town & Country, um, minivans. You know, Chrysler took over the minivan game because of vans like this. They just served the purpose so well and were relatively uh, inexpensive. And although they all did have the same issues as you're going to have when you rebrand or rebadge vehicles, they weren't too terribly unreliable. It is very commonplace to see them with over 200,000 miles. Thanks for watching. On to the next vehicle.